out here like try women. You know what's hard? You know what's hard? Dating women, okay? I've met maybe two women in my life that I'm like, you know, I maybe I would. And you know what? They weren't interested in me. So everyone's like, oh, just try it. It's not easy. I'm tr I am trying. And just goofy boy after goofy boy just keeps coming up to me. And I'm like, well, well, I like you. So I don't know. I don't, it's not easy. It's not easy. And I'm going to be straight forever. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I want you to love me, but like hate me a little bit. I want you to respect me, but then also disrespect me a little bit. I want you to be obsessed with me, but also leave me the fuck alone. Okay, now, who the heck put this trap to hold the cheese for me here? Do not give your child the father's last name if y'all are not married. Or hear me out, hear me out. You can wait till you get married to get pregnant. That'll settle all this and you gonna stand on business like that. It ain't nothing worse than when you break with a man, stop dealing with a man, your situation should end, whatever may have you, and then you wanna start doing life-altering things. All of a sudden, you wanna go finish his sleeve? You ain't wanna finish his sleeve when he was with me? Now you wanna go buy a dog so the girls can stop him and look at this dog? Like, now you wanna start getting better clothes, learning how to dress, all that stuff? Okay, now, who the heck put this trap to hold the cheese for me here? Let's get one thing straight. Crack is cheap. A photo from a recently opened women's only nightclub opened up and take a fucking look, buddy. Not one bottle in sight. Just a bunch of girls sitting around on their phone all looking at each other to pay for everything. Because you know who pays for the fucking bottles? Us. Doesn't make any sense, man. No respect out here. They don't appreciate what we do. When your first reaction is to be mean, but remember you're single and over 30. This mother don't miss. No, he's good. That mother don't miss, man. He's good. Are y'all mature enough to date somebody with six kids? No, Rocket DeVito, we are not. At least I'm not. I'm going to stay immature and drama free. I'm gonna stay in the child's place like my mom told me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we gotta watch The Walking Dead. Wait, Dad, where's Mom? Oh, shit. What? I forgot her at Lowe's. Come on. Oh, my God, Dad, she's gonna be pissed. All right, here they come. <laughs> oh, shit. She doesn't look happy. Ma, you're right? No, I'm not. He had a brain? I don't know where it is. It's something we're running for crying out loud. I'm so stupid. He's leaves me because I'm talking to somebody and takes off. <laughs> Jerk. What an idiot. I put you to sleep. You know what I mean? I put the deep sleep on you, baby. The big sleep. Be aggressive because nobody wants to hear this because what you want me to say today is actually being a single mother is totally possible. It actually isn't. It was never meant to happen for the human race, number one. Number two, single biggest determiner of whether a mother is a good mother, what do you think it is? This is gonna blow your mind when I tell you the answer. Whether they have a supportive partner. The major argument for good dads is actually, can the dad be there for the mom? Because it's like a, a direct chain is what we see. What you see is that if you've got a, a father figure, basically, who's supportive to the mother, the mother's energy goes towards the children. But the second that she doesn't have that supportive energy, she collapses, is what happens. And then the kids get starved. And we're not actually supposed to be living in a single family household, so it's supposed to be a lot more support towards mom than just dad. But I'm going with standard societal structure. You are a victim of a society that was never meant to work. With. You are a nine green flag new woman, and if she has most of these, then keep her. The one is if she has no tattoos. This shows that she's a classy girl, and remember, the more tattoos, the more bodies. Second green flag is she wants children. This means she has good values, and if the woman you're talking to doesn't want kids, she's most likely a feminist. Three is she doesn't curse a lot. Again, this just means she's a very classy girl, and everybody curses now and then, including myself, so kudos to the people who never curse. Four, she doesn't smoke, and she dislikes alcohol. This just means she takes care of her body, once in a blue moon, it's fine, but if she's drinking every two times a week or once a week, that is a major red flag. Run. Fifth green flag is she believes in God. This means she has good morals and she has trust. However, if she's an atheist, that's just a sign that she's crazy. Number six is she keeps her house clean. A clean person equals less problems. Plus, you don't want a dirty girl around you. Men are the ones who are supposed to be dirty, so there should be a balance. Number seven is she knows how to cook. If she doesn't know it's okay, she can learn, but this is a great trait because she can cook for you. 
eighth green flag is she doesn't party all the time. Girls who party a lot like attention and validation. And last one is she loves her mom and dad. This just means she's a grateful and good girl. Unless she has bad parents, then that's an exception. But let me know if these are valid and what else I should make. The issue is I want a man that's tall, sexy, kind, successful, super talented driven, playful, has a good like community of friends and family. Did I say sexy and tall? We're probably thinking why would that be an issue? But I ask you, why would that person be single if they are not a menace to society? That person is already married. What I described doesn't exist. Los Angeles. They're like, I dated so-and-so. And I'm like, no, you didn't. I know him and his wife. He you for sure, maybe twice. You never dated him. If I look up pictures of you and him on a red carpet somewhere, there are none. There's pictures of him and his wife. You never dated him. And the fact that she even has the thought, the imagination that she dated him. Now think about that in her mind. Now that's what she compares every relationship to. So she ends up dating shortstop for the Dodgers or ends up sleeping with him like two or three times in her mind she dated him and now every single person she dates from that point forward has to make the 20 million dollar a year guaranteed contract has to be this tall and in her mind that's who she wants and when things are dissatisfying in the relationship and the shortstop texts her in the middle of the night she is just far more likely to go back to him does everybody understand that is how social media has a nerd a kid told you let's go upstairs he said yeah let's go upstairs I wanted to pee with the kid no the only way I was able to even get upstairs is because of him they weren't gonna let anyone upstairs so out of everyone in the house they would only let Neon tell yes. him to go upstairs yes Neon was the was the bathroom commander she belongs to the streets <laughs> That's because if she goes out and she cheats on me, God forbid, then the trash took itself out. I'll break up with you. It's it. Is it going to hurt? For sure. But that's way better than trying to sit there and control her and not get her to go out because I don't want her to cheat on If she's going to cheat on you, she's going to cheat on you. Like, there's nothing you can do to control that. The, the whole idea of controlling someone is an illusion. But what you can be is confident in yourself so that you don't try and control them and try and tell them who they can or can't hang out with or who, where they can or can't go. Hope to achieve in your life. I want to travel a lot for sure. I don't know if I have like a specific purpose in that. There's no goal that accompanies it. You don't seem to have any direction in life whereas I know exactly where I'm going and what I want and granted that's nothing wrong with that but because I know where I'm at and where I'm going I don't want to have to babysit someone to where I am. So. Valid. Come on. Come on. Do it again really quick. What? <laughs> Is that where you think it really goes? Throat spray. Where else am I supposed to spray it? This, yeah, is, your this is my fault. This what? is your fault. Did I, no. did I fail you? It's throat spray. Let me know if it works. It's throat spray. Anna. It's throat spray. This shit is so lame, bro. Where the hell was that? <laughs> okay, now, who the heck put this trap to hold the cheese for me here?